You'll first find Gozuki on the very first mission, just a couple paces down the road. He's not actually a boss at this point, he's a mini-boss, but you can fight him here or not. Uh, but you will have to face him several more times throughout the game, so it's not a bad idea to become familiar with his attacks here. The main strategy here is that you want to bait him into doing his sort of orange attacks, at which point you'll use your burst counter on him to stagger him and get off a combo on him. Or wait for him to do some animations that have a rather long wind-up where he like pounds the ground with his weapon and is just kind of standing there for a minute. If you happen to have the Feral Yokai form, which I highly recommend using for this game, you can dodge through just about most of his attacks. Um, even if you miss time by a little bit and the attack ends up hitting you while you're doing the animation, generally you won't take any damage. You should have enough time to get three or four hits in after when he does one of his long windups, uh, and then get a key pulse off in order to regenerate some of your key. Um, but otherwise, you're not going to want to swing more than about two or three times just to be safe, uh, and then back away, let him do his animation and go in. Uh, the general strategy, you just want to bait his attacks until he does something that you can punish. You don't want to be so aggressive that you are just constantly on top of him because his attacks have, have, you know, have like a wide swing and they tend to clip you if your dodge timing isn't exactly perfect. And you can't always rely on your burst counter, uh, if, particularly if you're not a, a feral type, to get you out of the way. A couple attacks you want to look out for when he starts pawing the ground with his hooves, he's going to charge. You generally just want to run to the side and get out of the way. It's not a good idea to try and follow him and get behind him. Because sometimes when he finishes his animation, he'll actually come up and, you know, he usually, you know, horns upward. But sometimes he'll spin backward and hit you anyway, and it can just, like, one or two shot you if you're not careful. And it's really hard to predict if that's going to happen or not. And the other attack is sometimes he'll sort of rear up for a second, and then he'll fling rocks at you with his weapon. Uh, he usually does this twice. You just need to move to the side, dodge out of the way. And if you're close enough, you can sprint in and hit him a few times afterward. 